This video is about a lizard species that's generally believed to be extirpated from the Sandhills areas of Henry Cow Redwood State Park, the horned lizard. Buckle up, my friends. These buggies are wicked cool. What's going on, everyone? It's Dylan McManus with California State Parks, and I am about to show you one of the coolest and most unique lizard species in California, the horned lizard. But first, I gotta find one, and that might be a little bit challenging because their fragmented populations are very small and decreasing, and the camouflage of these lizards is so exceptional that they're pretty much invisible until they move. Wish me luck. Although this species has been extirpated or driven out of much of their historic range, including the Sandhills areas of Henry Cow Redwood State Park, at this particular site, they're holding on by a thread. Bingo. Look at that, immediately adjacent to the trail. And a testament to the fact that you don't need to destroy habitat and hike off trail in order to find these lizards. You just have to have a keen eye and stay persistent. Now this is a lizard out of Jurassic Park. Look at this thing, unbelievably unique. I'll be honest, I could talk about horned lizards for hours, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'll encourage you to take a deeper dive into this species on your own. And for the time being, I'll say, wow, just, oh, wow. This lizard is state listed as a species of special concern due to the fact, oh, that so much of their historical range has been degraded and destroyed. Many of their populations are now fragmented, which is quite concerning. At one point, they were collected from the wild for the pet trade, among other grizzly reasons, and they have not fared well with the introduction of invasive species like Argentine ants, which these lizards will not eat. They will only consume native ant species, many of which face challenges of their own. And as we've previously stated, so much of horned lizard habitat has been lost. Now this is just one example of a species whose livelihood depends on our relationship with the earth. If we treat the earth and its landscapes with respect, it will support many other species. Here are a few very simple practices that we can all follow. Regard the earth with a general sense of respect and treat it as we might a loved one, family member, or friend. Stay on trail and avoid habitat disturbance and destruction. Don't take animals from the wild, things like that. Horned lizards also teach us to appreciate things while they're in abundance, which is to say, don't wait until species begin to disappear and their populations decline to find their value. Life has a certain balance to it and everything matters. The decline of native harvester ants has factored into the decline of lizard species, like our friend, the horned lizard here, which in turn may have played a role in the reduction of lizard eating bird species, like the greater roadrunner. This is another extirpated species of many Sandhills areas. This quite possibly could affect larger carnivores like bobcats. I'm kind of speculating here, but hope you can understand how every living thing in a given ecosystem has a role to play. But conservation aside, it is just extraordinary to recreate in an area with amazing biodiversity, and we should recognize and appreciate this and do everything within our power to maintain this unique opportunity. Oh my gosh, these lizards just absolutely steal my heart. Look at this. Who wouldn't want to love and protect these things? Come on. I sure hope that I've piqued your interest about horned lizards and the sandhills. I hope that you enjoyed observing this modern dinosaur, and I'll see you out on the trails.